Hey guys, uh, welcome to InjaSharePoint.com uh, video tutorial series. In this video tutorial, we'll explain about how we can uh, move a workflow from one site collection to another site collection in SharePoint Online. Uh, the workflow has been developed using SharePoint Designer 2013. In one of my previous video tutorial, uh, tutorial I have explained that how we can create a workflow using SharePoint Designer 2013 for your SharePoint Online site. So here we will go one step further how we can copy that workflow or how we can move that workflow from one site collection to another site collection. So a lot of time you will get this requirement where you might need to move your workflow or you might need to deploy your workflow to another site collection so once your development is over maybe uh, that might be your EIT server that might be your production server so anywhere you can move that workflow uh, from one site collection to another site collection remember we have developed this workflow using SharePoint Designer 2013 so before proceeding this let me tell you something about our website enjoysharepoint.com so it's a website for SharePoint professionals like you so where we have uh, um, published a lot of uh, SharePoint articles, SharePoint Online, Office 365, Microsoft Azure um, as, as well as SharePoint 2016, 2013, so all related to SharePoint articles you will get over there. There is a dedicated job section and a forum section, so where you can utilize, you can take the benefit of those section as well. If you have any question or something, you can uh, you can ask question over there. You can ask a question over there and then usually you might get, receive a reply on that as well. Also, if you want to contribute to enjoysharepoint.com, then you can write your articles in word format and then you can send us. So, I'll put the email ID a few lines for which you are at gmail.com. You, you can send over there and then we'll publish your article on, on, on that site. Uh, on on enjoysharepoint.com on your name. So uh, do like us in Facebook so you can see all the details over here. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and our YouTube channel. So subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us in Facebook, follow us on Twitter as well. So I'll put all these useful links in the comment section of the video as well. So now let's move forward uh, to our uh, video tutorials where we'll see. So if I'll open the SharePoint site. So this is the SharePoint site. You can see here this is a demo workflow list. This is our custom list name. There is a workflow uh, known as list notification workflow has been attached to this uh, list. So now what we'll do is we'll move this workflow to another uh, site collection. So if you'll see here, I have another site collection known as NJ SharePoint. So first thing what uh, we have to do is we have to create a list. Remember, you have to create exact same list, uh, same URL in your destination site so here i'll go ahead and create exactly the same list same, uh, so make, I, i'm also telling you that uh, you should have to uh, have the name also is, uh, the url also same uh, so for example uh, i'll say here custom list and the workflow list name should be or demo workflow list right so if i'll give a space over there then this will be a, this will create a problem so make sure whatever the name you have so first time it will take this as a url as well so if your url has space or if your display name has space so make sure you will you will do all this permutation combination and make sure in the end your your list name is, should be as it is okay so demo workflow list i'll uh, click on uh, create so our list is uh, ready now so if we'll uh, go here our list now is ready. you can see here demo workflow list so now what we'll do is uh, we'll go to and open this site uh, so we need to basically uh, open this site in SharePoint designer our source site so it is already open there so this is my SharePoint designer just open it and this is our uh, uh, workflow you can see here right I'll click on edit the workflow and you can see here this is our workflow okay so i just wanted to show you now go back in the settings page you can see here save as template is there so click on that and you can see here the template has been saved inside asset library of the source side click on okay and from the left side you can see here site asset library is there you can get that from the browser as well but you can see here i am getting from the designer itself so uh, click on site asset so this is my site asset so somewhere the workflow should be there uh, if it is not there let me just refresh once so i have replaced uh, refresh it now i should uh, 
get that you can see here list notification the workflow is there so what you can do is either i'll just select it and uh, then i'll export it so you can see here export file is there i'll export it and then and then I'll, uh, in the uh, desktop i have saved it so the workflow uh, which will uh, which will come as a wsp extension is set to my desktop so now what we'll do is we'll go to the destination site so you can see here this is my destination site so what we'll do over here is um, um, uh, we'll go to uh, site settings so this is the i'm sorry the, we, i am in the source site let's go to the destination site this is my destination site i'll go to the site settings page so you can see here i went to site settings uh, you can see here solutions is there I'll go over their solutions and uh, then what we'll do is we'll upload a solution. So when you click on upload, you can see here and from desktop I'll go and switch it. So this is my workflow WSP. I'll click on OK. And uh, then what we'll do now is activate the solution. We'll activate it. and this is activated now you can see here the status is activated now what we have to do is we have to go to the site features page so go to the site setting and then manage site feature i clicked on manage site feature and then the down you will see you should be able to see the workflow you can see here workflow template from web template babna so we'll activate it so make sure if everything is correct here you will see the activation successful uh, message over there if something is wrong then uh, you have to figure it out and then uh, then only you will be able to get it so if we'll see here i think it is activated successfully let us check yes it is activated successfully now go back to the list so i'll go here demo workflow list and what i'll do you can see here the workflow is already there let's add one item and see so i will uh, add one item uh, same will give item 5 and I'll click on save so ideally what should happen is it should trigger one email to the uh, person who create the, this uh, item you can see here here is on my name so let's refresh it you should see the stage 1 uh, if I'll click on it I should see the uh, log history message as well so Okay, so now uh, the problem is we don't have a uh, task list and a history list over there. Okay, so you have to first create it and then uh, uh, then only will be it will be possible. So now the best way to create is uh, open this site and designer. So we'll close this site and uh, we'll open SharePoint designer again. So I'll open this site. Can see here I open the site it will take some time to open it now meanwhile it is opening let's check, check what is the let's check uh, what is the uh, uh, workflow list list name and uh, the workflow uh, um, this one let's task list name and history list name we have to give the chart same way so we so that you can give so you can uh, see here we have not created a task so probably it is workflow tasks or something uh, so what we'll do is we'll um, create a dummy workflow over here okay so we'll go to the workflow in the destination site so you can use your powershell to uh, to to create a workflow list or history list or a task list you can uh, do whatever you want but uh, here what the easiest way what we can do is we'll just uh, uh, we'll just uh, create a dummy workflow so if you'll see here i'll uh, say documents and on that i'll say dummy workflow and click on ok so now if you'll see here it should ideally uh, when you deploy it will ideally create the 
workflow history and the workflow task list as well. So it should be the same name. We, if it is not the same name, then uh, probably we have to use PowerShell or something to create it. Else we can now select the particular list. Uh, we can go to the workflow and change it. The task list and history list. Hopefully that will also work fine. So you can use anything, uh, but uh, the the list should be get created. So this is, this is a brand new site actually. This changes are point. So that is the reason previously also no workflow list or no history uh, list was there. So uh, I have not uh, deployed any any of the. Uh, so I'll quickly what I'll do is I will quickly just uh, write something over there and I'll just uh, publish it. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll go back here and if you see here there is no uh, so workflow task and then workflow history. Okay, so now let's publish it. This is, a, this is a, one of the best way to create this because ideally what will happen is even if you we'll, uh, save the list as a template, your history list uh, it will not appear. Okay, so you have to do some other way either use powershell or this is one of the best way where you can create this list so if you'll see here workflow task and workflow history list are there now okay now just for this information we'll just go back over here workflow task and workflow history we are just changing it I'll republish this again but ideally if the list will be there you don't need to come here and republish it your you just activate the feature and then then it should start working over there so now if you'll see here uh, this is my destination uh, so we'll add one more item over there okay so item 6 I'll save it so now we will refresh it go to stage 1 now you should see it because the workflow history list you can see here right so it is uh, pointing over there also and the workflow is completed okay so now um, we have seen how we can uh, move it so just to summarize once again um, email will also go, you will be there, uh, you can see here, now it is from NJ SharePoint, okay, so if you will see here, this is how the, the workflow is there, now if I will open, the site will be NJ SharePoint, you can see here, this is the item that we have created now, so just to summarize, so this way you can uh, um, uh, move the workflow from one environment to another environment, one site collection to another site collection. Your workflow list, task list should be there. Since it was not there, we have just created through a Dromi workflow. And uh, if you are not doing beginning, uh, the beginning, then you don't need to be worried. Just you publish, you just uh, upload the solution, activate it, and then activate the feature. Your workflow is done. If all the list, everything, the, those things are present as it is in the destination server. So thank you very much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You will get a lot of video tutorials we are publishing regularly and also keep visiting our site enjoyserpon.com. Thank you very much and thanks a lot for watching this video.